half of total web traffic comes from a mobile device. How can creating a mobile app for your website give you an advantage? Hi, I'm Ryan from Webiotic. In this video, we'll cover exactly what you need to know about supplementing your website with your own custom mobile app and what you have to gain. First things first, should you create a mobile app for your website or a responsive website that simply adapts to mobile? What you need to keep in mind first and foremost is that a mobile app offers businesses an opportunity to engage with their users in a new way. Only offering your users a mobile version of your website isn't really giving them anything new. It's just, well, a mobile version of your website. Nothing exciting there. One way in which apps serve users well is that they offer more customization. Users can create a profile, integrate with social media, set up their preferences, and further customize the app in various ways to suit their needs. Apps can also leverage user data to both personalize and customize offers and recommendations, making the app even more useful. Virtually all apps today come with built-in device features like GPS and one or more cameras. Offering your audience a mobile app will allow them to leverage these device capabilities to improve their experience with your product. Next, I want to talk about app builders. Don't use them. App builders are programs and software tools you pay for that allow you to build an app quickly and with little to no coding skills. They often use drag and drop tools, templates, and reusable components, all of which can speed up the time of development. While this might work for some small businesses with a limited budget, you should be aware of the drawbacks before making a decision. Many app builders offer limited access to the code, making it difficult, if not impossible, to customize your app beyond the app builder's templates and components. If you want to create a unique app that isn't using a generic cookie cutter template, an app builder isn't the way to go. Most app builders also have their own proprietary platform that your app is bound to. So if you decide later to develop your app on your own without the help of the app builder, you'll have to start from scratch. Some app builders, especially low cost ones, aren't able to fully integrate with third party services. You're oftentimes limited to whatever features and functionality that the app builder itself offers. Once you're ready to get started on building a full fledged mobile app to supplement your business's desktop website, where do you go from there? Choosing a platform is one of the first steps in the app development process. You can start with the platform your target audience uses most and then develop your app later for other platforms to expand your app's reach. This is one reason why it's essential to understand your app's goals and who your audience is before choosing a platform. Next, you'll want to analyze your competition. What does their app bring to the table that their website doesn't? Are there already existing apps doing the same things you want your app to do? Think about all the ways you can differentiate yourself from the competition. Another important step is to consider what features you'll want to include in your app. It's best to focus on just one or two and invest in those. Remember, you're not just creating a mobile version of your website. You're creating an entire mobile app that's inspired by your website. Your mobile app should offer brand new features and functionality that your customers will find useful. Take time and invest in creating a mobile app strategy to ensure your app is a worthwhile endeavor. A mobile app and the mobile experience that comes with it offers a whole new way in which to engage with your users and to bring in new ones. I hope you learned something today about creating a mobile app for your website. For more help with your app, subscribe to our channel. If you like this video, please like it and share it with others. Thank you for watching.